Right, I've sorted it out. Yeah, yeah, no problem. What? Yeah, everything's sorted. No, no, you gotta be here early. You gotta have a set up. No, no buts, just, just make sure you're here. stretching on to tomorrow afternoon. Another local news piece from Aston Glendale residents to be on the lookout following an escape from Glendale Sanatorium yesterday. The patient was still alive, his child was still Jesus Christ! I'm just getting shit out of me! Scavellini is in his late thirties, around six feet tall, and with dark brown hair. And his last seen wearing his glasses. Why are you upset on you? Scavellini was... You grow up fast. Yeah, it's breaking this it? early. Uh, I took a shortcut, man. The original film is called Slaughter. Anyway, it's about the I'm gonna go and get some beer or what? Yeah, just uh, just give me a minute to get ready. Someone else here. Yeah. 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 back, and you see the director approach the actors. The set steadily in. Bloody gross. Made me feel sick. Gross? Yeah, mate. One word. Cellular. What? Yeah, it's buggy, mate. It's buggy. Anyway, how much people were expecting? I don't know. It's about 12. 12? Right. I'm assuming that's including the birds. Oh, yeah, definitely. Not as fish.
Ay. Fuck. Problems. You've got real problems. All this shit's going to be back. None of them assholes get a chance to wreck it. Listen, mate, while I'm here, none of them bastards are going to get to touch here, all right? Just, uh, Stay calm, it's last time to get you just get the light off it. Hey listen, all right, you're an asshole and you're asking for it. Anyway, who's turning up tonight? So I'm Andy, Gary and uh, Mike. Mike? Jesus Christ, man, he's a fucking loser. Why would you want to bring him? He's not that bad, at least he's bringing some chicks. <sighs> all right, mate, but if he wears that hat, Where the fuck is everybody? Alright. Alright. Ash. Clive. I mean, Psycho. Hi. Hi. Mmm. <clears throat> That's Pat Ash. Where are all the chicks? Calm down. Join me away. Who's this? This is my new companion in Gopher, Jimbo. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hey, can I have a word with you? Mike. Wanker. Yeah. Mike, please don't call me that. Well, Jimbo, don't be such a baby and enjoy the party. You are already on my shit list, alright? I mean it, if them tricks don't turn up, me and you are going to have some serious problems, all right? Well, get off my case. I told you they'll show. Mm. Clive. I mean, psycho. So this is your place, then? Yeah, it's, uh, it's not bad. So it's something if I go late tonight, I'm in your room. Yes, 
right, the sass is. The doll's ass. Hey, mate, don't knock it. It's actually God's mystery. No way. Yeah, do you about that bird back in 90? Apparently, there's this guy, right? They find out his girlfriend was cheating on him. So he goes round his ass and this ass and kills him. Real gruesome, like splatter every time. And um, the cat him, I'll lock him up in this nut house somewhere. That's where you should be. Jim, I guess we'll be away. Why, you really believe that? It's true, man. Don't do anyone. Oh, it should be kicking by now. More beer? More beer. This tastes like this. It looks like this. Fucking, I've tasted some of the week. I'm going for a piss, you.
Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, that's not good. There'd be no friend here. I'm just pissed off. Does anyone see that? Probably Jerry off somewhere. I'm asking you. I keep your boots on. Piss off. Crack us open a fucking beer, all right?
the corn bearer to tonight, with the rain showers stretching well into tomorrow afternoon. Another local news piece was asking Glendale residents to be on the lookout following an escape from Glendale Sanitarium yesterday. The patient, who is still at large, is Charles Scavellini, dubbed the Glendale Ripper by the press. Scavellini is in his late 30s, around 6 feet tall and with dark brown hair, and was last seen wearing his Glendale Sanitarium overalls. Scavellini was serving a life sentence at Glendale Sanatorium following the murder and mutilation of his wife in 1990. The body was found to be mutilated, cannibalised and sexually assaulted post-mortem. Scavellini is considered to be extremely dangerous and members of the public are advised not to approach him or attempt to apprehend him, but to contact Glenvale Police Department immediately. Our correspondent met with Scavellini's doctor this morning for a brief interview. Carl Scavellini is uh, an extremely dangerous uh, individual and I urge members of the public to uh, report an exciting to be here to the Glenvale Police Department uh, to the uh, Glenvale Sanctuary. Uh, residents must not, I repeat, must not attempt to act on any of themselves. Scumming is prone to violent habits and I could not go to your safety. In other local news, the opening of Glenville Mall is scheduled for this Saturday. The first 100 shoppers will receive a free surprise giveaway.
This place is starting to creep me out tonight. It feels like there's someone watching me. Like there's someone right behind me, but when I turn round, no one's there. I think all this talk about that psycho escaping from Glenvale has got to me. Is Ash still having a party? Are you there now? I'm going to come over. I don't want to be here on my own. I'll set off in a minute.
que huya. Shut up, you damn dog. Alright. Want a drink? Yeah, alright then. Tamara? So. Hey Pete, did you watch that film, Cannibal Ferox? Yeah, you liked it there, remember? Did I? Yeah, we watched it at Tamara's. Alright. Oh, Not bad, is it? Not bad. Yeah, you Hey, how about that poor bloke who ends up getting castrated? Poor bastard. No point in living after that, really, is there? Special effects are good, though. Especially when that woman gets hung up by her tits with those meat hooks. You sad bastard. I'm going to the bathroom. Where are you going? Upstairs. Have you seen Sarah? She should be here by now. Not she's... be long. Look, have a drink or something. Chill out. Hey, are we uh, ordering a pizza or something? Yeah, I'll do it later, Jimbo. Fuck it, I'm going for a piss. Hurry up, I need to take a piss. I'll go outside then, asshole.
how many chicks, is there? No idea who's turned up. Where's Pete and Tamara? Still screwing in the bathroom. Better not get any stains on carpet. What would Mum and Dad say to find out about the party? The grape shit. Can you take this up as a tea party? Yeah, we need TV and link up cable. What about Dad then? It's in the shed. So what? Where's Mark? I think he's waiting for Sarah. Alright. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. If you go out and fetch the link cable from the shed, you can check on Mark whilst you're out there. Alright. Well, what about the pizza? I've already ordered it. It should be a soon. When are the chicks coming, Ash? She'll be coming with Mike later. Got that cable? Give me a chance, for fuck's sake. Well, fucking fetch it then. Fetch it yourself. How the fuck should I know where it is? It's your fucking For fuck's now. sake. Yeah, whatever. What's it measure or something to you? Well, I'll ask you Okay. I had a good time, but I never felt this way before. About chocolate. Alright? Yeah, not bad. Thought you fucked off home. Oh no, fucked. I will be. Cool. So where's Ash? He's gone to fetch something from the shed. What? Something for that fat bastard on the computer. I heard that. Well, I said it loud. Ashes, isn't it? Cool, mate. Right? I don't know, sure. Oh, I need to get this. Pass the camera. Pizza, Pizza man. man. Oh, God. Did you leave this any morning? 
Yeah, I just left some money on the table. Cool. There should be enough there. Yeah, Yes. I'll just get you the cash. Okay then, okay. Yeah. I need you in the bathroom by the way. <laughs>